everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to just review some Lush products that I personally love and I'm um, also trying out. Um, Lush is actually Lush is actually one of my favorite stores. I go there all the time. I It's so sad. Um, I live in New York and there's probably like five or four different Lushes here. And I know employees there because I go there that much. It's actually like kind of funny but and also um just overall lush i go on their site all the time and i'm always reading what the new products and what they have and what they do and all that stuff so i can practically like suggest people lush products because i've been there so much and i've been shopping there for years and um i really love the quality of their brand some of my favorite things from lush are um their shampoos so i love my hair my hair is my life i know some girls out there are the same way some guys too maybe and um really really think about the products that i put in my hair um lately i've been trying to go natural i've been trying to put like oils and different kind of heat protectants that are natural um shampoos and conditioners are natural home you know masks for your hair and all that stuff um if you want me to share that with you and give you different tips and recipes please comment below and let me know if you want me to do that um, so my first favorite product from Lush is Ocean Salt. So Ocean Salt is a salt scrub that has uh, orange in it. it. Has orange and um, vodka. Well, it says vodka infused cocktail for bright, fresh skin. So this thing really, really um, makes a difference. It's a little pricey. Uh, I think here it's like thirty dollars for the big bottle. And they also have one that's like preserved and non-preserved, but it is, it has made such a difference in my skin, like my, especially my face. Uh, my face, I have like the largest pores ever, like the largest pores, and I need to constantly be exfoliating my face just to like unclog and even prevent some stuff because it just gets bad. And in New York, you know, um, with makeup and the heat and pollution and the people and just being on the subway it's literally disgusting so when you get home your face is all nasty and clogged up and you know it's just you need to really really at least I need to really clean it so um I use ocean salt on my face I've been using it for years and I've noticed so much more of clarity in my skin and also dark spots like when I I'm I'm like I pop pimples all the time so it's and it's horrible I, I, I pick my skin all day and um clears up my skin and also just takes away the spots that are left when I pop stuff on my, my face and I usually get them around here and it leaves like just darker marks especially in the summer when I pop stuff and then I get a tan and it stays tan and I in the winter I turn pale and then the spot is still there I'm like crap so this definitely helps me I do it about three times a week maybe two sometimes even once a week it really depends how much makeup I'm wearing um, how much I'm going to the gym, or how much I'm just sweating, I know it sounds really gross, but sweating. Uh, obviously in the winter I lay off a little more, in the summer I kind of do it more. And, um, just great. Also for my back, um, since I do work out a lot, I get some, like, back knee, and this really, really helps clear it up, um, because, you know, I, I use me, I try to pop things from the back, and I can't even see what I'm doing, and I end up making the giant scab, and these marks, so this has really helped me. And uh, how I use it, I know it says to wet your face and then put it on, but um, I like to, because my skin, I need a more rougher scrub, I just grab a, a, like a, a chunk and I just rub it my face dry. And I really work it in dry. Um, well, first I move up my makeup and then I put it on. And I uh, just rub it in, all uh, circles, and then I will like wash my face after. Just because it'll take out, it's, it's, one, it's a rougher scrub. Also, it'll take out whatever, you know, blocked layers of dead skin I have so my soap can really get in there and really really clean my skin um, so yes I definitely recommend this a new favorite of mine is their um, their shampoo bars and this is honey I wash the kids I believe and um, I have the link below and honestly the shampoo is amazing amazing it smells amazing that's one thing it smells amazing and I don't know if you've tried, um, I've tried their honey one. It's a, I'm not sure what it's called. I've tried their liquid honey shampoo and it's great. I like it a lot. You know, um, it doesn't really lather though. 
and um, it's kind of hard to go from using a regular shampoo to shampoo that doesn't really lather just because it's all mental it does clean your hair but you just feel like you're not washing your hair you know you don't you can't really like get in there and really like scrub and I'm not a fan of that you know especially when my hair is dirty or really oily or sweaty um, this shampoo really it's also made with a lot of honey it sets up really well so that's great I recommend it for people that have like thicker curlier hair like hair that needs moisture um, my hair is naturally curly so this really does a trick also another shampoo that I also recommend is Trichonomia? Tri 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 trisonomia? <laughs> it's their, um, I'll have the link below, it's their coconut shampoo and it smells so good it also, it smells really clean, very fresh and it's, and this one suds up a little less than the honey one but if your hair is curly and um, this will leave your curls looking beautiful. Honestly, like when I wash my hair and I want to leave it curly, this is what I use because I want to keep my hair as moisturized as possible. That way it's less frizzy as possible. You know, because frizz is good, but not too much frizz. Um, this and the conditioner, it's it's amazing. And all I just need to put in my hair is a little bit of um, oil or almond oil after. And then I'll just put that in and it'll make the biggest difference. Um, and I love that shampoo. It's great. It smells great. Um, and it really lasts a long time. Like all the shampoo bars at Lush last about 80 washes, I think, or like 80 to 100 washes. So that's great. Um, now on to body soaps. So I just got, um, like I said, I have back knee. So I've been trying the combination of ocean salt and parsley porridge. And uh, parsley porridge is one of their newer soaps. It's like their porridge soap. It has like oats and stuff, but it has parsley and it's supposed to have tea tree oil and it really, really supposed to like help you clear your skin up. Um, I thought that would be great. I'm like, this is what I need. But I realized that it doesn't necessarily help. And I don't know. I, I was a little let down. Honestly, it doesn't smell that great. That's awesome. <laughs> it doesn't smell mean. It smells. It smells okay, it just doesn't smell that nice like the rest of the stuff, but it's okay. And uh, I just think it doesn't work that well, like I get a lot of acne and um, it doesn't really take it away. Um, maybe it'll prevent more from happening, but it won't, I, I feel like it doesn't help any that are currently there and I'm trying to get rid of and um, you know, the goal is to get rid of the ones that are there and prevent. So yeah, I wouldn't give it a go, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't give it a go. Um, I wouldn't buy it again, to be honest, of Bohemian and sandstone and those together bohemian and sandstone together have made such a difference on my back um sandstone really gets in there and exfoliates your skin and takes out you know all your like dead skin so your pores aren't clogged that's one and also whatever marks or like you know since leftovers like pimple marks and on your back it really really takes it away and I've noticed just a big difference. Like I'm, I used to be very self-conscious of wearing like shirts like this, especially in the summer, because I would be so embarrassed. My back is full of marks, and I'm just like, this is not cute right now, Sam. So I just wouldn't wear it. But after sandstone, I definitely feel like this summer, at least, I am a lot more confident in wearing tank tops and all these, you know, like backless shirts because they're kind of in right now. And also, yeah, my back is a lot better, so I feel really good about that. Uh, I have a, I'll have the links to Bohemian and Sandstone below, so you just check them out if you want to. So that was my Lush haul for this month. I have a lot more products from Lush that I have, like my whole shower is Lush, and my whole like cabinets are Lush. Um, unfortunately, I am not sponsored by Lush at all. Would love to be, but no, Lush is not paying me for anything. Uh, this is all just custom review. Um, if you guys want any more reviews on Lush products or anything, um, you want me to try it Lush and let you know how it goes please let me know please comment below uh, like this video if you want more Lush reviews if you want just more videos in general uh, please leave suggestions and comments below please give us a like thumbs up and uh, see you guys soon